I'm Eli the Computer Guy and today's class is FTP for Web Admins, which is short for File Transfer Protocol for Web Administrators, which is long for uh, we're going to teach you how to copy and paste files from your desktop up to your web server. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty easy, hopefully this is a short class. Basically, FTP allows you to transfer files from your desktop computer up to your web server that's on the internet and back down again. So if you need to download files, you would use FTP. If you need to upload files, you would use FTP. If you need to, to change uh, uh, the, uh, the names of a file up on the internet or create a directory within your web server, that's using FTP. There are three ways you can use FTP. If you're using a web hosting provider, you pay three or four, ten bucks a month uh, to have your website hosted somewhere. Most of the companies that, that, that do that will give you a web-based application that will allow you to upload or download files uh, through their little application. This is normally a Java application, and therefore you need to have Java installed on your computer for it to work properly. Uh, this is good as a, as a simple, quick, easy way to, to upload and download files to your web server, but most of the time uh, they'll actually give you a warning that says you should not use their little application for uploading or downloading large amounts of data. Uh, the little Java application is good for, for small amounts of data, but not, not huge amounts. What most people use, what I use, is you can install what is called an FTP client onto your computer. I use something called FileZilla. There is something called Qt FTP. There's a whole bunch of FTP clients out there. Basically, these are programs that you install on your computer. Once it's installed, you tell it uh, the address of the FTP server you're going to, the username, the password, and it will connect to, to your web server, and then you'll be able to upload and download files through the application. I'm going to show you how to do that in a little bit. And then the final way uh, you, you may have an FTP client is if you use a piece of a web publishing software like Dreamweaver, many times uh, they'll have FTP built into it. So as soon as you make a change on the website on Dreamweaver, it'll automatically synchronize uh, the changes up to your web server. That's out of this class. If you're using Dreamweaver, <laughs> this class is probably below you. Um, that's that's the, the, the introduction to the class. Uh, let's go and I'm going to talk about some of the basic concepts that you have to understand uh, in order to do FTP, and then I'll give you demonstrations on how everything works. The first thing that we need to talk about is how you access your FTP server. So the FTP server, if you're using a normal uh, shared hosting provider where you pay five or ten dollars a month, the FTP server is the same thing as the web server. Um, if, you, if you're building your own web server, they can be two entirely different things. We're not going to go into that right now. We're just talking about you yourself pay about five dollars a month for shared uh, web hosting and how, how do you upload files to that server. So in this case, the FTP server and the web server are, are the same thing. The first thing that you need in order to be able to upload uh, files to the FTP server is you need an FTP user account. FTP user accounts are not the same accounts that you use to log in uh, to, to manage your, your web hosting. So uh, if, if you, you use a login and you can get in and you can create MySQL databases or you can change settings uh, for, for your, your hosting. The FTP account is not necessarily that same account. Many times you have to create an FTP user, uh, give them a username, give them a password, and give them some permissions. Once that's done, you can then use that FTP user to connect to the FTP server. Now connecting to the FTP server, again, if you're using a shared hosting, all you, all you have to remember is when the FTP client that's, that's installed on your computer asks for the server's address, instead of putting www.yourdomainname, you put ftp.yourdomainname. 
So instead of putting www.everymanit.com, I would put in ftp.everymanit.com. And that would point me to the FTP server to allow me to upload files. After that, you would then put in the FTP uh, username uh, for the user you created and the password uh, for the user you created. Once you've done that, you just hit connect and you're connect and it's, it's that easy. The only real problem you may have, as long as you put in FTP, uh, your domain name and everything else is right, is that FTP uses port 21. We've talked about ports before. Uh, they're kind of like the, the doorways on the internet. Uh, HTML or HTTP, Hypertext and Transfer Protocol, how you see websites uses port 80. SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, uses port 25. Uh, FTP, File Transfer Protocol, uses port 21. So, if your FTP address is correct, your username and password are correct, but you still cannot connect uh, to the FTP server, it may be because uh, you, your, fire, your local firewall is blocking that connection. So if you have Norton Internet Security Suite or McAfee Internet Security Suite or even Windows Firewall sometimes will block port 21. So uh, if you're having problems, just disable your firewall altogether, see if it works then. Most of the time it, it, it will work. So this is what you have to know about, about connecting to an FTP server. FTP dot your domain name FTP username, FTP password, and port 21 has to be open. Now that you've connected to the FTP server, you may question uh, where do you put your, your files and folders for your website? Well, most, <laughs> most websites uh, allow you to, to put all, all of your files and folders uh, right, right there. So as soon as you connect, you're connected to something called the root of your directory. So that's the highest level you can go uh, in your particular web directory. And most of the time, you can simply uh, upload your files there and, and everything will work properly. Remember, if, when you're uploading your home page, that your home page has to be called either index.htm, index.html, default.htm, or default.html. So you upload your files to that, that the highest level directory and it should work. Sometimes it won't work. I, I saw this with, uh, with, with one web designer where she was having a problem uploading a website. We kept uploading it fine and for some reason the website wasn't showing up. The reason was is this particular web hosting provider made you put the web files into a particular folder uh, to be presented on the internet. So with, with this company, you had to put uh, all of your files into the public folder uh, for it to be for your website to, to show up on the internet. So that's just keep that that in mind if your web if you're uploading files but but you still can't see them is uh, remember the the home page has to be default or index.htm or .html. Uh, most of the time, you can upload all of your files just to the highest level directory, um, but sometimes there's a specific folder that, that you have to put your, your files in for them to be accessible on, on the internet. So now that I've, I've gone over all these basic things, let's, let's go on to the computer and I'll actually show you how all this works. So here we are at the hosting control center for my GoDaddy account for my Play website, etcgpro.com. As we can see, uh, the domain name here says etcgpro.com. It gives our server's IP address for where it's located and a whole bunch of other information. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up an FTP user. So in order to set up an FTP user, we go down here to settings. Now this will be different depending on who you are using for your, your hosting provider. Uh, I'm, this is just an overview for you uh, to, to show you what you should look for. Uh, we go over here to manage FTP users. We can click on that. And now here is where you can create or delete FTP users. As you can see, I, I have a couple of test ones here. Test 2, ETCG, ETCG test, uh, etc. All you need to do to create an FTP user is you click on the add FTP user. 
and then uh, you give the, the, the user a username, so etcg test2. Uh, then you give the person a password, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and here you can say what directory you want them to go to. Uh, normally when you're starting, if they give you an option here, say hosting root. That's the, the root directory. And then you hit save. Uh, oh, then the, the password has to be right, so I don't know. In 9 ggt 6 4 m i give them some garbage. Save. Uh, there we go. And so now the, this user account is being created. The one thing to remember is if you control your own server, uh, basically as soon as you hit, you, you create the new FTP user account, the, the user account is created. Uh, if you are using a shared hosting plan where you pay the five or ten dollars a month, you can wait, as it says up to, over here, up to 30 minutes for the FTP account to be created. So that is how you create an FTP user account. Uh, it's pretty simple. Now if we want to, to upload uh, documents or HTML web pages to our website using the, the built-in FTP client that GoDaddy gives us. We go over here to content and we click on FTP client. And now a very simple page comes up. Uh, it shows the local system over on the left hand side and the web server over on the right hand side, the, the remote system. And then all you do to upload information is you just go through, oops, there's nothing there on desktop. Excellent. Here we go. Uh, and in order to upload something, you just click on it and then you click the little arrow button and it starts uploading it. That's that's a that's a big video file. Uh, we don't do want to do that, but just to show you something, Neverman IT. Uh, let's say readme text. So we'll just upload that readme text. So now readme text is up on the internet. If we go to www.etcgpro.com forward slash read readme.txt, that 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 file now shows up. So I just showed you how to to upload files. In order to download a file, you would do the same thing. You would select the file and then you would just hit the the arrow the other way to to download it. And now it'll get downloaded really quick. So this is how you upload or download files using the the built-in FTP client that that comes with your web hosting provider. Remember, you have to have Java installed on your computer for this to work properly, and you don't want to be uploading or downloading a lot of files because it's just a, <laughs> just a pain in the butt. So now, uh, in order to upload or download files, what I prefer is I use an FTP client called FileZilla. So this is FileZilla. This is an installed uh, program, so a program I downloaded and installed on my computer to be able to do FTP file transfers. So in order to connect to the FTP server or to the web server, first up here where it says host, that's the same as, as the, the server address. So we put in ftp.etcgpro.com. The username, uh, we just put in etcg test, which was the, the test uh, FTP account I created. And then we put in the password. And then we hit quick connect. You'll see all this information goes by, and up here in this box, this tells you whether things are successful or where they fail. Now, on the left-hand side of the screen, here in the middle, uh, we see the files that are on your computer or on my computer. On the right-hand side, where it says remote site, th this means the, the FTP server or your web server. So, all you, you do if you want to upload files using FileZilla is you go somewhere where you want to upload files. Um, let's see, Everyman IT. We'll just upload this. You just right click on the folder or file you want to upload and click upload. If we go down here, 
we see on the bottom this shows your queue so each file is transferred individually and you'll see that they just keep trucking on by uh, you have failed transfers so if there's a problem it'll show up here and then everything that got successfully transferred will show up on this other tab and that's really all there is uh, to FileZilla or to a local FTP client. Uh, you can go up and go into settings and there, there are some configurations you can change in here but since you're brand new we won't worry about them right now. Uh, once you are comfortable using something like FileZilla then, uh, then you can go into settings and play with it but until then just, just <laughs> don't play with it. Um, and then in order to download files, again, if, if you wanted to download something, you just right click on it and you can download. Also, they give you the option, you can create directories, you can rename files that are already up on the, the website, etc. So let's say this readme.txt that I uploaded before, I could rename that to index.html. And remember, uh, home pages always have to be called either index or default .htm or uh, .html. Now if we go and we go to etcgpro.com Now we get, <laughs> well, a bunch of text. But notice all I plugged in here was etcgpro.com. I didn't plug in any other file names and this is what was brought up. So whatever file you, you call index or default .htm or .html is, is what will be your your um, your your homepage. So that's all there is uh, to uh, to creating an FTP user account to using the web hosting services providers uh, FTP client or using a uh, an an actual resident FTP client like FileZilla or Qt FTP on your account uh, on your your computer. So let's go back out to the real world and we'll go over a few other things. And so that's all there is to FTP or file transfer protocol uh, for you as a new website administrator. Uh, FTP can get a little more complicated. You can set up your own FTP servers and do lots of complicated stuff. But if you're just now learning how to design websites and, and, and upload and you need to be able to upload and download fi files and pictures and videos, all, all you need to know is, is what we taught you in this class. Everything else gets, gets more complicated and you don't really need to know it. So just remember when you're trying to connect to the FTP server, you, uh, the address for the FTP server should be FTP period, your domain name. So uh, my website, www.everymanit.com, the FTP address would be ftp.everymanit.com. Remember that you have to create FTP user accounts, and these are different than the accounts you use in to log into your web hosting provider. So, uh, so go in, to, there should be some FTP user manager uh, somewhere within your, your hosting. You just click on that, you, you create a, a username, you create a password, and, and that, that's all you need. If you're having problems connecting uh, to your FTP server, realize that your um, your firewall software may be blocking port 21. If it is, the easiest thing to do is just disable all your firewall software. Uh, if you understand how to open up particular ports, then just open up port 21 and everything should be, should be hunky-dory. Uh, generally, there are three ways to, to upload files to, you, to your FTP server. Uh, like I said in the beginning, uh, there's the, the little Java application that your web hosting provider will allow you to use. Uh, this is easy and quick most of the time. The only problems are you have to install Java on your computer for it to work properly, and it's only good for small amounts of files. The better thing, what I personally use, it is an actual FTP client installed on your computer. I like FileZilla. That's what I use all the time. It's very good. Uh, you install this onto your computer. You put in all the, the information and then you can very easily upload and download uh, information or, or documents to, to your websites. You also can uh, use built-in FTP into uh, web design software such as Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver allows you to put in your FTP server information and it will automatically synchronize uh, information up and down. It's up to you on what you use, but, uh, but, but, but that's
that's it. That's FTP. So this was the class FTP for web admins. I'm Eli the Computer Guy, and I look forward to seeing you at the next class.